The biathlete. In Neolithic Norway, he was a hunter on wooden planks. No one at this school, Gordon Graydon, knows this. Virgil, the Roman poet, wrote about this, but no one remembers. As the students go on with their lives, it's rather certain that none of them stop to think about Europeans who lost lives to warring skiers in this past millennium. 1776. They may think it is a year of Adam Smith and American independence, but really it was the debut of a biathlon sporting event. No one year was in Norway at the time. Ursula Dissel did not walk these halls, yet she became a six-time Olympic medal winner in this ancient sport. So, what is it that made five students from this school go to compete in a robotics biathlon? The answer is... Aliens. Touch it. No. Come on. No. Please? Oh, all right. It's so soft. What's wrong with you? Two. No, it's two. Not but sign. Right. Yeah. Very good. From like this. If you have something launched up Who's like this? this, it's only the vertical velocity in the air. Ooh, a robot. Um, I was interested in becoming a team leader and having all of the responsibilities that come with it, and um, I was very keen on becoming team leader. Hark, hark. As in previous years, this year we decided to organize our team into two main sections. The first is the engineering team, which incorporates the design and construction of the robot. Our second part of the team is the multimedia team, which incorporates the production of a documentation binder and the video and web page. Our engineering team is uh, composed of 10 uh, which uh, throughout the uh, entire competition uh, design and construct the robot. Hark, hark. We uh, got together at the school and started to brainstorm ideas for the robot and came up with some very interesting designs. Uh, some of the ideas included a crossbow method and there's also a, a prototype used with a steel pipe where there were springs on the outside and uh, one method was either to have an exp expansion springs and some were also compression springs. We found that some methods were a lot more efficient than others and we came up with a very different idea in the long run. This is our drive system and chassis for this year. It's composed of a four-wheel drive system driven by the two Chrysler motors that Canada first supplied with us. The wheels are 12 inch diameter and driven by chain. This is our turntable assembly. It allows us to change the angle of our shooting system so that we can knock out all four targets. This is our firing system. It's composed of a stainless steel rail, 
on which two cars travel. Our method is a type of slingshot method that uses two springs. These are the electronics for our robot. As you can see, we have two battery holders and the motor control board that Canna first supplied with us. Uh, this year we decided to change our drive system. L last year we incorporated a, a pulley using V-belts. Uh, we felt that this was too inefficient, so this year we redesigned it to incorporate a chain drive. We've also decided to uh, change our design from last year because we had a weight problem last year. Uh, this year our challenge requires us to go over ramps and run a course, so we felt this year that a lightweight robot would be much more practical. <laughs> Zwei, drei, fire! Oh, yes! We're looking forward to the Canada First Robotics Competition. See you there!